Y'all, at what point is Portia Williams going to start being embarrassed for having Simon on her arm? (laughs) Y'all, what am I talking about? Another day, another dollar, another dumb lie. What's the, what is the latest embarrassing lie for no reason that Simon Gabodia has been caught up with? Well, it has to do with his net worth. Now listen. We're not debating back and forth on whether Simon's worth 40 million or 400 million. Because I have to ask you, where did that come from? I'm being serious, right? I'm about to get to the deuce, but where did that come from? You know, somebody whispers a lie, then it echoes and it echoes and it echoes. And before you know, you're like, who even said that? Where did this come from? Now, before we continue, I gotta be honest about a few things. I was for real, for real, for real gonna do another expo of Simon his businesses his this his that and then I said ain't even worth all that you ain't even that important I'm not doing this work anyone that still believes a word that comes out of that man's mouth deserves what they're given anybody thinks that he is an authority or just anyone besides a self-made smoke and mirror I don't have any pity for them right But you know what? It's the funny thing about life that when people are loud and lying and you don't say anything and you just sit there and let them, they get louder and louder and louder and then they get bold. Then they get cocky with it. Then they want to point fingers and call people's names all because you got the number and you see exactly what they're doing. So guess what, baby? You're not getting the, listen, you're not getting a full blown expose, but we will look into his bio and the thing that created the myth of who Simon Gabodia was what his net worth is and what he actually did to actually get it. Y'all ready for it? Let go. Now, Simon, like any CEO running a $40 million, nay, a $400 million company or vast fortune, like any high powered CEO, he likes to be up till two, three, four in the morning, probably after, probably in my opinion, after he's had a few drinks of um, Don Julio and a few cigars. He liked to be going to war with the people in his comments because that's what CEOs do, right? However, let's ask ourselves, where did this come from that Simon was actually worth $400 million? It just appeared out of nowhere, almost as if it was myth or folklore. Now, spoiler alert, I'm going to give y'all the plot. Y'all ready for this? Simon Gabodia made up a fake bio to start a fake rumor that he was worth $400 to $500 million. How do we know he made the fake bio? Because guess what? I found the company that he got the fake bio from. It's an Indian company. They'll do it for anyone that pays. It's only $106. That's it. And once they do it, they blast it out on 20 sites. They don't verify the information. They don't care. They don't even write anybody's bio. You must send it to them in the exact form. Format. Y'all don't believe me? All right, well, let's get into these receipts and then we're gonna see what's up because, baby, you know, I always got the receipts. Woo! And make sure you stay till the end because it's a little special surprise. All right, let's get into it. But I want to know one thing before we do. Do you think Portia knows? Do you think Portia wrote it for him? Maybe not because her book was written in crayon and the bio didn't look. But at this point, do you think that what Portia thought, ooh, he got money? Portia googled him, saw that fake dot bio, and then was just like ching and started crip walking to the bank. Baby, I already told you that bank is filled with monopoly money because ain't nothing real on that bio as long as far as I can see. Now, y'all, I want y'all to know this is my opinion based on the evidence I got in the fact. Watch all the evidence and make up your own mind and let me know what you think in the comments. But for right now, all I can say is how dreadful, how pathetic, how low. You 60 years old and you making up your own bio, but you're supposed to be having, literally making it up. But you're supposed to make us believe, y'all, I pity anyone that ever believed this fool. Anyway, let's get into the receipts and his fake made up bio to match his fake made up life. Please. Now, let me tell y'all something, right? Matter of fact, let me show you the evidence. Oh, the pathetic, pathetic evidence, right? And then let's meet after the jump and talk about this. All right, let's go to the scene of the crime, shall we? Simon Gabodia's Instagram. Now, I know if anybody's even been paying slight attention, he's changed what he is and what he does to me at least six different times, right? 
This week, he's a father, a philanthropist, a CEO, an EP, an investor, a car enthusiast, enthusiast, and a pharma CPA. Hmm. Now, admittedly, this bio doesn't tell you much about why it seems like this man is such an enigma and smoke and mirrors because he likes to show the whole world everything, even down to the lasagna and Oscar Mayer turkey bacon he eats for breakfast. So where? And we see no evidence of any employees, any functioning business, any anything. So where, where did this rumor come from? That the sky was worth 40 million or 400 million. Well, <laughs> I'll give you one guess on where it came from. Class, any guesses? Any guesses? Well, if you're guessing Simon Gabodi himself, girl, you would be right, y'all. Simon, if you don't remember, right? I interviewed, I'm getting to it, I'm getting to the receipts, right? If y'all don't remember, I interviewed Fallon Pinna a while back. Go ahead and watch the video. I was gonna pull up the clip, but then I was like, Simon ain't worth that effort, right? And I remember asking her, you know, how much are you worth, things about this. And I said, what about the bios? What about this? And she said, Simon handled all that. And I said, what do you mean? I'm paraphrasing. And she was like, Simon created my bio and his. He paid people to post it. No, to make it. I said, hmm. I said, hmm, I wonder who he paid to make his bio, because you know I'm nosy, right? But luckily for us, Simon, because he can't keep his mouth shut, and every time he talks, he gives too much information away, right? He shed light on that. Y'all ready for this? Let's break this down. I'm not lie. I shared this on my members only live first. If you haven't signed up for my members only live, make sure you do. But I decided to spill a little tea for y'all too. So here you go. All right. So Simon posted this on his Instagram saying net worth and assets. Popular businessman. <laughs> where Simon Gabodia lives a luxurious life in Atlanta <laughs> on whose dollar, right? As for the sources, mm, keep, a, keep an eye on that word, source, right? He lives in a mansion worth an estimated $4,688,000. Now, in the interest of fairness, he sold that $4 million mansion and now he has a new one with Miss Portia Williams, her deed, her name in on the deed or mortgage, but he lets her spend the night whenever she's being good. I would imagine, my opinion, right? Um, it goes on. As for reports, again, where are these reports coming from? Simon made a net worth of four hundred to five hundred million USD, approximately. I said, "Ooh, wow!" So this is where everybody's getting their information. But it wasn't just that. Simon confirmed it. Look at this. Real quick before I forget, I am covering the Tasha K trial tonight at 8 p.m. We're going to go over the whole trial. And guess what? Subscribe and turn your notifications on because it's I have Lily the Red Lipstick Hustler in court. In court. Giving an eyewitness account, right? She's going to come back and tell us. However, make sure you turn your notifications on because as soon as Lily hears what the verdict is, she is going to actually talk to us. So we're going to do a little pre when we get the exact verdict. And then we're going to be on live with Lily and the uh, criminal attorney, Jess Janda, breaking it down, what happened, what happened, and how Tasha can appeal if she lost and da 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 Anyway, let's get back into this mess. Okay, Simon actually had the nerve to put something underneath. Thank God it wasn't his usual eight paragraph blogs. It was just a few sentences. Every so often, I run into some interesting articles about my life. And every so often, they come close to being accurate. And shockingly, they are not even Forbes. Enjoy the article, read and speculate. And I said, all right, I like to read. I like to speculate. Let's do this right now i said where should i start my search but i said oh thank you so much mr gabodia he actually put a link to his bio on newsunzip.com wiki simon gabodia now i should point out that someone jumped in his comments and said thank you for sending me this my little tattersalls and said whatever you lying you ain't worth that much and he's literally clapped back and said the ignorance is real because Ricky does not publish anything that is not verified. Scratching my D head. Now, mind you, he did say the ignorance is real because Wiki does not publish anything that is not verified. Scratching my 
empty head. And again, we see in the news on Zip, Wiki, Simon, Gabodia, dot app. Now it's really intrigued because I was like, I, this is Wiki, not Wikipedia. And I said, hmm, starting to smell a little scammish. But you know what? You know what? Withhold judgment, Tisa. Withhold judgment. That's when my radar went off. And I said, I smell a scam. So you know I had to dig deeper. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so first I run over to Twitter because that's my favorite go-to source, right? And I typed in the news unzipped. I found their website. What? They got 10 followers. Eight following. Who are these people? Harpo, who's that woman? Yeah, it's starting to sound, smell scammy in here. But you know what? This is America and everybody is innocent until proven guilty. So I did the next best thing. I hopped and skipped over to their website. Google, do your thing. The news unzip, put it in, watched it through. Okay, it exists. Who's Abraham, Abraham Ali Khan? I don't know. You tell me. Who's Olga? Never seen her. Who are these people? Yo, nah, forget this. We got to get straight to the point. So I said, all right, all right, all right. Let me just do, do a search for Simon and see what comes up, right? So I searched, right? I am Simon Gabo. Wait, no, that's his Instagram. So I searched Simon Gabodia, right? And what came up? Bet you can't guess. I bet you probably did guess. Boom, Simon. Oh, and there's Fallon. Fallon said that Simon handled her bio and made everything, right? Okay, so we're obviously on the right track because we got Fallon's bio, Simon's bio, and I flipped through it really quick. Like, there was a lot of stuff there. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff there. So let me just take you guys to the money shots. Let's go. So basically, this bio is basically repeating everything that Simon has tried to push down our throats. But the thing is, I see so many things glaringly wrong already. I started to ask myself, how do they vet this information? He said these people are better than Forbes, right? Right here in this thing. So I said, you know what? Let me reach out to them and actually see how they vet their information to make sure it's accurate. So I just got straight to the point. And I said, I'd like to get a bio write up similar to the ones I see on your website. Examples below. What is the cost and how quickly can it be posted? Well, they didn't disappoint because they got back lickety split. They got back to me saying, hey, Tisa, thanks for contacting us. Regarding adding your profile to the News Upset website, here we need to write your here you need to write your profile as it, as it was written in our many profile references right caution no copy content ba 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 they said basically for the profile edition pr advertisement it was 90 dollars, right plus a 16.5 usd transfer cost for a total of 106 and six dollars approximately for everything sent to their PayPal account. Now they did give a $5 discount if I sent the payment within 24 hours and you know I did because I wanted that discount. Now, I gotta be honest with you. I was a little lazy and it went back and forth because they were actually very stern with me that they would not write anything. They don't actually write profiles. What they do is give you a format. You have to write something for 800 words and you have to send it back in that format. Here is the format, guys. Here's the format, and they're really strict about it. We just click on the Word document in this email. Okay, so this example, Juice World. You have to put a picture on top. You have to fill in all this information, height, weight, name. Is this starting to look very familiar to you? Is this starting to look just like the bio we just went through with Simon? But wait. I sent them also my bio information and I formatted it the exact same way that they wanted, which is the exact same way that Simon's is formatted. Look at this. Let's see what my unvetted bio that I had to write myself and submit to them along with my Instagram pictures. This is rumored to own a dolphin, a pet tiger, a baby lion named Simbo and donate her valuable time to helping less fortunate animals. Friends comment that Tisa is a natural at helping animals because she is so successful at business. This is nonsensical and they still printed it. Anyone can get this for $106. Simon did. They go on to say that the 
correlation was and continues to be an obvious natural fit. How about this? As per the rumored reports, Tips have made a net worth of 450 to 500 million USD. You know I can't now be, be outdone. Simon made up the fantasy of him being worth 400 to 500 million. I said, I'll take that and raise you 50 million on the low and high end, right? As an American entrepreneur and YouTube celebrity, she's the founder and CEO of Tattletoes Media and Tattletoes Group. Compare my bio to Simon's. It's just as ridiculous. She's the founder, right? Just as ridiculous. As of 2021, Tisa Tells is worth an estimated to be around, again, they repeated 400 to 550 million. Y'all, Simon literally wrote fan fiction just like that coloring book his fiance wrote, right? And literally made up his own mystique. This is what I'm saying. This is what my opinion is you can go through my bio you can go through simon's bio it's all there y'all but imagine the pathos the arrogance and the stupidity you would have to do to write the ignorance is real because wiki does not publish anything that is not verified but you weren't talking about wiki you were talking about the indian website that you paid a hundred dollars to to make sure that your narrative of who you wanted to be based not on truth but only on your delusions of grandeur actually said and the best part as you can see simon and i are all on the same sites i'm on the news unzipped he's on the news up to i'm on all real news he's on all real news why is that and i'm also on wiki and so is he but as you can see it's wikiography not wikipedia why is that because when you pay your 106 usd right depend they might have ran it up maybe he got it for cheaper um they put you on all their websites they promote i think there's about nine or ten different websites they put your bio on on different ways and the websites are all named differently but y'all y'all so there you have it there's a smoke and mirrors there's a lot more i could do but at this point it is not worth it i don't got time to educate the dumb dumbs in the back i really don't simon literally wrote and you saw by the instructions, it has to be 800 words. You have to send it to them with the pictures already in that format. You have to hand deliver this Indian company, the News Unzip, which got 10 followers on Twitter, eight and, and, and 10 followers, and eight people following them, whatever, right? Um, they got that website with a whole bunch of who knows what, how, Harry, on there. You got to pay them $106. They will blast it out. And the more you pay, the more websites you can be, be on. And guess what? It's not just that. There's a lot of websites that sound like legitimate websites, like Wikipedia, only it's Wikigraphery. But like Simon said, it's on Wiki, so it has to be true. You're not on Wikipedia, and even Wikipedia doesn't have to be true. Y'all, how pathetic how small-minded how anything for clout this is a six-year-old man making up his own fan fiction and bassing it out but again the audacity to be on the internet cursing people out talking about at dust scratching my damn head and you know the whole time you ain't telling nothing but sheer fan fiction uh, uh, uh trilogy trilogy and just sheer speculation and into in, in your window y'all this is a mess let me know what you think do you think this is embarrassing do you think portia knows why do you think he did it why do you think he got he would get away with it why do you think he even bought it to our attention at this point it's some pathos y'all believe what you what you have my opinion maybe there is a successful business that he's running somewhere but who wherever it is we know that the only person that's writing about it or seems to know about it or anything is actually him y'all <laughs> but you know what they say when the world won't believe you be your own press agent and simon took that advice y'all who's gonna be the one to tell portia <laughs> or maybe she's the one who wrote the bio she is a skilled author but it wasn't written in crayon so i don't know y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all later i have a few other hot stories come out don't forget i'm going live tonight at eight o'clock to count to um cover the uh to cover what happened in the Tasha K trial. And y'all, there's a few other funny stories I'm working on. Just keep posted, like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, do the damn thing. All right, y'all. Talk to you later.